Hi everybody, so finally uh, another video is here. I promise that we will make another video how we learn to ride. Taking it for a first ride. And I'm so happy that I can and I know how and actually I can ride now even more difficult um, surfaces, uh, also going through the forest or uneven foot poses or roads so I'm quite happy about that and uh, for me I ridden on the Kingston unicycle around 400 kilometers Franta has a lot more like 700 so he rides it quite often and we both love it so what was important or most important for me as uh, learning because for Franta I have to say Franta was very quick learner he tested once uh, riding it in the shopping uh, center we went to the electro shop where we uh, test the unicycles for him it was that he stepped on it the person from the shop gave him some advice on how to ride it and he started with holding on the wall and riding back and forward and then he just let go and he went that was just amazing and then when the Kingston uh, arrived because that was a different model of the electric unicycle it was a little bit different for him so he did started um, holding on the fence and then he was trying to ride back and forward and then he let go like five minutes it was five minutes learning experience for him on the king song yuppie first ride yes i mean you trained like five minutes amazing Really honestly, I mean, he went to one shopping center to try it, like step on it and he mainly needed like a wall to learn and we saw some YouTube video that the fence helps because you can hold and keep your balance much better uh, and he tried like for five minutes back and forward next to the fence and now he's doing this but I have to say he's generally very good with sport like windsurfing and uh, kitesurfing and bicycles and gig scooters so maybe there is some good notion about balance and yes he looks like a Spanish dancer right now <laughs> Bing your hands <laughs> but amazing amazing I'm proud of him for me, I have to say, very, very frustrating. I mean, uh, I can learn lots of new things and I tried lots of sports in my life. So uh, it was kind of uh, surprising for me in my mind how slow I was. I mean, I was just wanting to bang my head against something because it was just terrible. And I felt so frustrated and I felt like I'm so bad. I will never learn this. But I didn't give up and I uh, just encourage you not to give up because when you learn it, it's just so, so much fun. Uh, so for me, what was the learning experience in the first day um, when we start to learn? I also tried this. Uh, actually, the first time I was trying that was also in that shop. And I can tell you that two people were helping me to stand on that machine. Two people. And I had next day next day so triceps as a muscle from holding so tight on Franta not to fall I could not really move on that machine and in that time we already pre-ordered King Song so I was really questioning my decision to buy it because I really had this feeling that I will never learn but I did I'm proof that you can so okay I let it go off my head and I told myself that I am a very resilient person and I try to always achieve what I set my head up to so even if it's a difficult I usually don't give up so I said okay um, you can do it so for me after first day of trying to learn uh, what I found out I have to protect my ankles your ankles do get hurt I think they get hurt most from anything else because neither of us even I was very clumsy did not fall off the machine at all like we jumped it off we let it go you drop it you try to save yourself not the machine but most of the time we uh, went off the machine like we jumped off and grabbed the machine so it didn't happen that um, the machine fall that often the unicycle uh, so first thing what I've learned is the next day of learning I took boots 
I took uh, my winter boots on and I was really well protected and I was like not fearful of hurting myself. So if the advice number one is dress yourself the way that you will feel very comfortable and easy that you are dressed okay, so you will not think about it that it can hurt yourself. It brings some a lot of ease to learning experience and you will be just absolutely okay if the unicycle hits your ankle or hits your legs because that will happen and it will not hurt if you have a good proper shoes bike shoes winter boots something higher or thick um, socks whatever you can find or band-aids even do it i mean i've seen many people to have helmets to have hand protectors knee protectors use everything if you are clumsy if that happened to you also when learning on um, rollerblades or something like that definitely go for any kind of protection that allows you to move okay i mean don't put that much that you will not move but use a protection that will help you to move around easily because you will need that uh, but protects you uh, from hurting because when something hurts or you are scared you can get hurt you're gonna ride it differently second thing and i maybe that's a more of a woman thing i don't like to damage things i don't like to scratch them i like to have them nice and polished and clean uh, so for me learning on the grass even on, on the grass field even if it's bumpy and it's less stable and it's much more difficult to learn on that than on a flat surface uh, like asphalt uh, it was much better for my mind for my uh, learning experience because I was not thinking about that and it falls off I knew it will be okay it will not get scratched and maybe it will get grass now and there somewhere stuck into it but you can pull it out and it's very safe from scratches that was the second thing. Third thing, I saw an advice. I was looking for the videos on YouTube also for the advice how best I can learn. And there was a few advices. Some of them work and some of them didn't. One of the advices was to start learning uh, holding onto a fence because you have a better grab and you can hold it on as you see in the footage I'm showing you right now. So, and you can learn the feel for the machine. Um, I guess that was good to try, but now as experienced, more experienced learner, not completely experienced, I don't know how to ride backwards. So that is still something that I want to learn. And front tattoo is that now when I know how to ride it and I grab on the fence, it actually, uh, shifts me out of the balance so even now I don't like to hold on the fence so uh, it was not the best advice for me but for the beginning to step on it and be more independent to try to ride it uh, it was good second advice what I've seen and that kind of work but I didn't find area here we didn't find where we can train that is to find uh, somewhere uh, two poles that you can hold on the sides and uh, uh, we didn't find it, but we have a narrow hole in our household. So what I've done the next day with the protective boots on is that I uh, stepped on it and I hold by both hands on the wall. You see it in the footage. So that was very uh, nice for me to learn how to move forward and how to move backwards. And uh, I have to say one more thing. Uh, what uh, actually was a good advice and I would say it's like a zero 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 first one completely before first like a, uh, first first what you should do is learn how to stay a uh, step with the one foot on the unicycle and hold it with the one foot just to be able to stand and keep the unicycle in the center in the middle of your body that's like a advice uh, pre number one and then the other ones so back to the advice, uh, so the third one was I was holding against the wall and driving back and forwards. It was around one hour I was trying this. I also have to say when you are learning you will get tired, like after an uh, hour falling off the first day of the machine, I was sweating, I was running sweat all over me, I, I was so tired. So when you are tired you are more keen to hurt yourself. So if you feel tiredness, just let it go. Go next day or after two or three hours of rest, try again. Uh, also, it depends how fit you are, how your body fit. But I, I before danced a lot, so I know my body well uh, when it tells me that it's getting tired. And I hurt myself many times because I pushed beyond the limits. So that's why I'm not doing it anymore. 
so when your body is tired don't don't learn on that you will be more frustrated and it will hurt you so don't do that and so the next day i was doing on that wall uh holding myself back and forth with riding just to understand how it uh, how it goes and i've seen very good two advices that i uh that helped me a lot one was to learn to ride the unicycle that you have one foot on the unicycle and you try to make a circle around the foot right right now i'm showing it this on the footage so you learn to make uh, circles around the one foot what it helps you actually with for me big help is that i can do like a more sharp turns even now i use this technique to one side to the other one uh, and don't do it that well but you can put your foot down and like turn around and the second advice was to learn to be able to ride on one foot short distances because you need that to step on the machine so to start to ride that is the the technique you need to learn to be able to start to ride is to be able to for very for short period to ride on one foot um, the main one you're stepping on and those two exercises i've done throughout the whole day uh with the breaks of course i didn't do it like for three hours continuously i done like a half an hour the circles around the foot and then i went on the grass and learned to ride with one foot on the machine and the fourth day uh, we went again to the field i didn't i was very feeling bad about learning right i didn't think that i will do it i will not manage uh, i'm impatient you can see four days is not much for learning and uh, because I tried it in the morning on the fourth day at our house uh, and it was not working uh, because there was a short or small space to ride it. And when I went to the field, I actually stepped on it i adjust a little bit angle of my foot i even step now on it i don't put my foot straight on the pedal i may put it in the v shape i can balance it much better to put my foot into v shape and i actually watched franta do it he does does it automatically he was not thinking about it and i just spotted that he does step on the machine differently than i do i put my foot differently on the machine and then I put, uh, I pulled out the trick of able to ride a little bit uh, without both feet on the machine and I put another one so I ridden put another one foot and you have to hold on for dear life so even if it wiggles you and you think you will fall off you have to try to contrabalance it as you can using your hands we call it as a spanish dancer uh, movement <laughs> so do it and uh that helped me i mean i started to ride that day so on fourth day i was able to ride it was very unstable ride i was like uh, uh have to be very concentrated i was sweating still a lot it was very tiring for me but i did actually after third round i realized that uh i can ride so i was so happy I, we have that on video screaming we are riding finally hi everybody i'm riding finally <laughs> so it is very uh, good feeling when you learn new skill but i missing i think that's applies to all of the skills you learn uh, so the learning process was quite stressful and on the day three i felt like if anybody seen a dirty dancing music i feel frustrated i felt frustrated as a baby <laughs> learning uh, dancing on that uh, uh, before the st she went up to the stairs so uh, that, that that was funny i really felt frustrated and i really feel grateful that i know how to ride it and uh, how long did it take me to ride like really comfortably because um we live in the city that it has hill up to the city you have to go a steep hill it's not like 30 percent hill it's maybe 15 or 10 i cannot really estimate that much but it's not it is steep but not the steepest one that King Song can ride and it is not it's like a blocks of uh, stone it is made out of blocks of stone so it's not a flat surface and that was not the learning experience for me to learn up the hill but main thing for me was like trust myself 
trust my body that know how how to write that will balance it well and trust my mind but when i wanted to learn up the hill that's another story i i had to grab somewhere uh to teach my body or mind or everything how much I have to push into the pedals so I can ride up the hill and keep the balance and especially when it's not a flat surface uh, down the hill it was much easier I just had to start from um, straight and then just turn and go down and I could balance it that was very easy but when you had to stop and start going downhill I couldn't do that and the same thing so I learned this like three weeks I was really riding it with confidence and it improved over uh, riding more like I think when I had 150 kilometers behind me it was just really easy to ride uh, any surfaces almost even small gravel I don't like it and sometimes the stone stone gets into the machine so I'm kind of uh, uh, careful about that one but I can I can ride over them if I need uh, so that that's absolutely okay around 150 kilometers 100 kilometers every then that was fine and these days I even can ride that if I don't put my foot correctly on the uh, unicycle pedal I can correct it while I'm riding so that helps in the city traffic if you have to move faster whatever but that comes with the practice and just don't give up and I, you can learn if, if I've learned that and uh, yeah, definitely you can learn even if it takes you one week two weeks three weeks four weeks you will learn eventually uh, as I've seen many YouTube videos I've seen one youtuber who said that it took him uh, over a week and he's friends within the day so it does frustrate you if you have someone <laughs> learning so quickly and <laughs> you feel like an idiot so don't be worried I mean everybody feels that way but that should not stop you if you want to achieve something interesting you should just go for it and then you feel just amazing actually if you learn it over a longer period of time that it was difficult for you you just feel so much better about it so it's a bonus It was nice sitting with you and talking with you. I hope it gives some sense. I hope it helps you. This helped us. I mean, these are tips that helped me or us. To front, it was much more simple. And these tips helped me and I'm sharing them to inspire you. But uh, they might not help you. You might have a different way of learning. So hope you get everything from it what you need and hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we will make some also video. We did both some stands. Uh, for the king songs and uh, we will let you know how we feel about them and also we made some trips so there will be some general video about driving around with the king songs and just have fun and learn and i hope it will go easy and and you will have lots of fun so thank you very much have a nice day and we love you <laughs>